How you doing, Katie? Good yeah. to see you. Thank you for having well, me. Well, I'm glad you're here. Awesome. Well, as soon as I came into the igloo, it was like I went back in time. I mean, this is so retro. Sure. What, what gave you that idea? Well, we wanted an old-fashioned look because we do things the old-fashioned way that our grandparents and parents taught us, so that's why we came up with this color scheme. That's wonderful. I also noticed there's a lot of people in the drive through Do you have a lot of drive through business? We have a lot of people at the drive through They want to come in, get their drink or cone, and then head on the way. Yeah. Just like the one we have with the original frozen custard. Okay, when was that from? That was from 1949. The first one was 1932. Oh my gosh. And we're going to go over there and take a look at that. It's still standing. Yes, it is. Started. After the war, my grandfather became a mix master at an ice cream factory in Frankfort, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Then during the Depression, he and his wife moved to Lafayette, Indiana, and they opened up the original frozen custard in 1932. The building is the original design and shape and colors. Things have been added in regards to flavors. This is where all the secret recipes got started. Oh, so what happened after 1932? Well, my grandparents got started in 1932 in Lafayette, and they had a daughter named Charlene, and she married my dad named Dick, and they started the businesses going in Lafayette. And then uh, my mother and father moved to a small town in Attica, Indiana, and had their own frozen custard stand. Mm -hmm. And then around 1968, 69, my grandfather's health went down, so mom and dad moved back to Lafayette, and we took over the original frozen custard at the park. Okay. At that time, I was of legal age, so to speak, to work. Yeah. So I was working with my grandparents and my parents at the original frozen custard. And I just enjoyed it. I learned a lot from them on how to treat people, how to talk to people, and just seeing people's reactions to getting a good product. Uh -huh. So later on, when I was getting ready for college, my dad took me over to Purdue, where I studied restaurant, hotel, institutional management, and wanted to take over the family business. When my brothers came back in to join it, so there was the four of us running the original frozen and Custard, and I thought it was then time for me to go out and do my own thing. All right. So my wife and I decided, well, let's go build our own little frozen Custard Igloo. So we got started doing that. It relieved a lot of the pressure and such because we were our own bosses. Mm -hmm. uh, we see a lot of the same people every day, two or three times a day with their kids. Sometimes we see people that, have, that used to work for us and we see their kids oh, nice. and some of the older people that we've known for years bring in their grandkids to see us. Oh, wow. This just was a lot of fun and that was probably one of the big things that I saw from my grandparents and my parents is the expressions that they saw in the people's faces of the joy that they were giving them by serving them the frozen custard. Well, let's go learn how you put those smiles on people's faces and learn to make some custard. Let's do it. All right, let's go. We are about to make some frozen custard, but the igloo's recipe is so secret, I couldn't even watch it being mixed. Hi, Katie. Today we're going to make strawberry frozen custard. Would you like to help? I'd love to. Here you go. Would you put some strawberries in, please? Absolutely. Sprinkle a little in there. All right. There's a strawberry in every bite. Yes, ma'am. Want to put some more on there? Yeah. Would you hit the stop button, please? Yes, I will. Oh my gosh. 
Would you like to taste it? Of course. That's why I'm here. Can I have one also? Thank you. Sure. All right. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is so creamy and sweet. And that fresh strawberry just pops so nicely. Oh my gosh. That is so good. I just want to share this with everyone. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. about five minutes and I'm already learning how to work here at the igloo so Alex Bill's son is gonna teach me how to dip a scoop of frozen custard all right so how do we do this so you basically just want to take your dipper and drag it across the top make a nice round dip okay and then plop it on the cone press down Yep, take some practice, but you'll get it. Okay, well, nine years of practice versus about 10 minutes. There, here's the result. <laughs> well, I am here with Kathy, Bill's wife, and she is gonna teach me how to put the finishing touches on a vanilla frozen custard cone. So we have got some sprinkles here, right? Why are sprinkles so popular? It's probably the most important part of a cone. It adds color and happiness. Put it in the center and turn your wrist. Make sure you get a good even coat, and that looks perfect. All done! Well, I've learned how to dip up a smile, and I've made someone happy. Now it's time to go learn the secret of happiness at the igloo. So the tradition of your family has become the tradition of your community. And that's no secret, but there's something special about the igloo that has kept people coming back for 87 years. So Bill, what is your secret to making people happy with your frozen custard? The big difference that makes us different than everybody else is the fact that we put our, our heart and soul into every single dip that we do for people. Um, do we dip up smiles is not a motto, but it's our mindset. We want everybody coming in to always have something good something flavorful and something that they'll remember and then come back and want to get it more with their kids and grandkids. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing me how to make the strawberry custard and all about what the igloo is. It was a pleasure. As we leave Lafayette behind, we head north to Appleton, Wisconsin, where we'll meet Kathy Turek, who has a new twist on serving gelato at the Knotted Cone.